All right. Today is the 11th, the 11th day of February, the 11th day of February. We're going to look at the 11 right there. We're going to go straight up the calendar. Oh, and we've got the one that starts with a T and an H. And when you see a T and an H together, whether it's at the beginning of a word, the end of a word, or the middle of a word, it changes the sound of both of the letters. It's called a digraph. And when T and H are together, they don't say T and they don't say H anymore. Instead, they go together to make a new sound that's where you put your tongue between your top and your bottom teeth. So check it out. Today is Thursday, Thursday. All right, so we're moving it over. Our sentence says today is Thursday. Since today is Thursday, we're going to jump back to yesterday. Starts with our dub letter W, 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 Wednesday. So let me grab Wednesday and read our sentence. Yesterday was Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, yep, Friday. Tomorrow will be Friday. Let's go ahead and count how many days we've been in school. We're going to add a single block here, a one, and take a look at what we have. We have one 100, one 10, but now we've got two ones. So we're going to change that. So we have been in school for 112 days, 112 days. There's 100, 110, 111, 112, 112 days of school. All right, now we're taking a look at our 10 frames, 10 frames. One is completely full and one is full on the top row. So I think you know what that means. So we've got one complete 10 and then if it's full on the top row, that means we have five, right? So we have five extra ones. So one 10 and five extra ones means we have how many all together? 15, 15. All right, domino edition time. All right, on the first side of our domino, I bet you know it without even counting, we have the number three. On the second side of our domino, how many is that? Have you ever rolled a die that looks like that when you were playing a game? That is three at the top and three at the bottom. So there's six all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six on that side. And so all together, we need to count our dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine all together. So can you read that number sentence with me? Three plus six equals nine. Now a number sentence is also called an equation. So you might hear somebody use that fancy word equation and you know what they mean is a number sentence. A num sentence with numbers and also with symbols. These are symbols. This is the plus symbol and that's the equals symbol. Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 14, 16, 18, 20. And let's go ahead and count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And our missing number, our missing number. So 10, 20, 30, 40, uh-oh, missing number, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. What was missing? What's in between the 40 and the 60? Did you say 50? And a good clue to look at are the other numbers that are in that row. They all start with fives, right? They're all in the 50s in that row. So we were missing number 50. Yesterday, we talked about the penny. A little bit and penny we said is worth one cent one cent penny penny easily spent small and brown and worth one cent and it's not just brown it's that copper color right it's more of a reddish brown let's talk a little bit about the nickel today the nickel 
Now this is the head of the nickel. This is the tail. It's worth five cents. So one of these coins would be worth five cents. That's the cent sign. It is made of silver. It's a silver color. It has Thomas Jefferson on the front. So that president that's on the front is Thomas Jefferson. And on the back of the nickel is a place called Monticello House. And Monticello or Monticello, I've heard it said different ways, is the house of Thomas Jefferson. So that's his house right there that's on the back of the nickel. All right, nickel, nickel, thick and fat. It is worth five cents. I know that. Now it is thicker than what the penny is. If you looked at it and you turned it on its side, you would see that it's thicker. All right, let's take a look. This is the dime. It's worth 10 cents. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. And this is our quarter and it's worth 25 cents. And I'll include another um, money video for you to practice um, remembering your coins and how much they're worth.